Hello and welcome to Thursday's Tea at the Ritz with Tricia. Uh, we've had a theme running this week all about style and the older woman and today I want to talk about accessories. I love accessories. Um, I think it's one of the most brilliant ways that as we get older we can really engage with some fun, some colour, some um, something that can mark us out as a little bit different. So that instead of choosing something nice and safe like uh, maybe a pair of neat little pearl earrings, I've got nothing against neat little pearl earrings, but if that's your go-to um, and your default, I want to try and persuade you that actually you can really have some fun with uh, some quite wacky accessories when you're older and really get away with it. So um, that's really what I want to share with you today. Some thoughts about uh, necklaces, earrings, um, we'll start with actually glasses and um, things like scarves and gloves and so on and so forth. So quite a lot of you will have to wear um, spectacles. Now I advised somebody a while ago, um, Marilyn, I don't know whether you're watching this, but uh, Marilyn came into the shop and she said, I'm really concerned because I don't feel very uh, comfortable wearing eye makeup anymore. I've got a problem with my eyes. The eye make makeup doesn't look right. And of course, it's quite hard to put eye makeup on when, you're, uh, when you have to wear glasses. So I said to her, well, why don't you just indulge in a really amazing pair of specs? and make that part of your statement on your face and then go to town on your lipstick make sure that that coordinates well with your glasses and and you know do your face makeup as usual with a nice bit of uh, foundation and blusher do your eyebrows because they'll probably show above the frames of your glasses and you'll probably be really good to go and don't worry too much perhaps you can put a bit of mascara on or something anyway so she, she said, yes, I'll have a go at that. So these are my specs. I don't actually need them for anything other than uh, driving or watching the television. But as you can see, they've got a purple frame. Um, I quite, they, they also react to light. And I'm looking at uh, a quite a bright, sunny, um, into the bright, sunny garden at the moment. So they're starting to go um, to colour up. But uh, if you do wear, wear spectacles, then I'd, I'd say... Don't apologise for them, make them a feature of your look and, and you can do that very successfully. So something like this works with my coloured hair and the fact that I'm cool toned and suddenly the glasses that I'm wearing instead of being a oh I've got to wear glasses becomes part of how I look. Um, yesterday, or was it the day before, um, I posted... <laughs> This is my new wig, everybody. Um, and uh, I, I put a little a film onto Trisha's Super Troopers page showing me wearing the wig that had just come through the door. And um, it was quite fun. I had lots and lots of comments on it. I think a couple of hundred comments or something. And a few people said it made me look older and a few people made me <laughs> said it made me look younger so I don't know whether it makes me look younger or older and it doesn't bother me particularly but it's uh, just a bit of fun and I think I will wear it in some future video I'll tell you well it'd be very obvious that I've got it on but um, something like that you know a week why not um, especially in this day and age when we can't get to the hairdressers so for me accessories are a combination of things that you're wearing either perhaps on your hands I mean I quite like bright gloves so I've got this lovely turquoise pair of gloves and bright pink gloves both of which will lift um, a fairly boring coat although this year I bought myself a bright red coat absolutely loved it and um, I also love scarves so here are just some of a selection of scarves that I've got. You can see that they're all cool tone colours, uh, purples, pinks, um, greys, a little bit of silvery one in there. And those, uh, those alone, like I'm wearing a really plain top at the moment and I'm doing that on purpose to show you the, uh, the way that accessories can lift something like this. But you know, you immediately just choose one of these scarves. Which one shall I choose? Um, this one's rather fun. I bought this in, in Avoca Handweavers in, in Dublin. I don't know whether you know that, uh, that place, if you've ever been to Dublin. It's an absolute treasure trove of the most glorious stuff. And this scarf was designed by a couple of um, young Irish uh, designers. And the pattern on it is 
the Giant's Causeway. That's that that was the inspiration for it. Um, uh, it's just brilliant and it's beautiful colour. So as soon as I put this on, immediately my look is is lifted just by the addition of something like this really very pretty scarf. Um, the other thing that I do love um, are uh, necklaces. Now let me show you my necklace tree. Uh, my kids gave me this for um, Christmas a couple of years ago and it's absolutely brilliant because I can put everything on there, I can see it very clearly and find it very easily. And I particularly wanted to show you uh, this one. You, you've been asking me about this one. Uh, I've got two of these, both from Sahara a source of very, very interesting makeup. Um, so not makeup, I mean jewellery. And Sahara, um, they are online. There's a shop in Guildford, which is very near our, um, our shop in Guildford, so I bought them from there. But these, these are necklaces, and you can see they're kind of stretchy, so they're brilliant. I've got one in red, uh, pure red, and one in sort of pinks and reds. And the other day, what I, what I did very simply was I wound it around my neck, and of course you can pull it out, and I wound it, I had to get it straight to start with, but I wound it three times around my neck like that. I won't do it uh, this time. Um, but you can wear, the, I can obviously wear this as a single, singly like that, just hanging down, or I can wind it round um, several times and, and get a different effect with that. And obviously I've got the red one as well. So that's absolutely brilliant, very versatile. Uh, sometimes I like to wear pendants. And I've got another interesting one here from Sahara. Sahara. So this has got this lovely spiral um, in it. And, um, you know, something like that. It's bright pink, it's metallic. And again, because it's interesting, it lifts a whole outfit. I'm not averse to pearls. Um, I have these. I do really, really love these because they're shiny and they're flat, so they catch the light. And again, they're, they're long and very versatile. I can wear them as a three strand, I can wear them as a two strand, or I can wear them as a single strand. And suddenly, you know, I've changed from one necklace. I've, I've got completely different looks uh, with that. Let me get this off. About to strangle myself. There we go. Um, and occasionally, it's nice. Uh, I was wearing this uh, yesterday. Something like this, which is very neat. And you can just, this sits beautifully within a jacket, but just that colour is gorgeous. And uh, it's all about adding interest and texture. And of course, a bit of bling. You know you've got a special occasion and you want to dress up something that's quite plain like a black top and this is perfect because if you like black for the evening but you don't like black up close to your face put something like this on a bit of uh, it's obviously paste if they were real diamonds well uh, it would probably have to be in the bank and never taken out um, I got this from where did I get it from jigsaw I do believe it was it was yes I think it was jigsaw so a collar like that absolutely brilliant and um, now we come to the really you know dearest to my heart and that is earrings obviously earrings are something that uh, an older woman can wear in order to give her herself a little bit of um, I don't know fun colour, life around the face uh, so that it um, it just jazzes up your look. And I really, really, I've always loved earrings. I've really always loved earrings. And although I could be accused sometimes of looking a bit like, um, what was her name? Uh, the woman from EastEnders, Pat something or other. Um, oh, you'll remember, you'll have to tell me. Um, she, she always wore really quite grotesque earrings. So I hope mine aren't grotesque. I hope they're actually quite... I like to think they're classy. So these ones that I've got on, I bought in France. Um, as you can see, they're, they're uh, pyramids. 
and they're on this grey stem thing here. But because they're perspex and see-through, they're quite big, but uh, they, they don't have a heavy effect, and I really like that. I think they go brilliantly with this top, in fact, and work really well with it. So they're, they are really good fun, and, and they're different. So I'm going to show you all the different sort of shapes and sizes and styles that I've got, some of which you will have seen already. But I want to, um, to tell you how well, you know, how they work depending on your face. Uh, shape. So if you've got um, a round face by which the widest part is here, so it's that shape. My face is oval, so I've got a wide part here, but then it narrows there and it narrows there. So I've got more or less an oval shape. If you have an oval shape face, it's quite easy to choose earrings because most shapes of earrings suit you quite well. If your face is rounder, so you haven't so it's it's quite wide, then wearing more angular styles works really well. And also particularly angular styles that are dropping down to give your face more length. So again these are too lally inevitably so let me put these on and show you them and show you how well they uh, they can work. So they're blue here and then they've got this sort of pale bluey grey there and again because they're quite light at the bottom they don't look too ridiculous um, and yet they are adding this sort of slightly changed proportion in terms of just bringing the eye down here. Another good pair to wear if you are round faced would be something like my lovely red ones. So again, I bought these in France. Um, they actually broke and I was devastated because I wear them a lot, especially in the evening if I want a sort of smarter look. So can you see how wearing something like this that's quite bright and then draws the eye down, if you have a round face, would work really well. Um, I got some super glue and I also, I just Googled um, repair for earrings and for 8 99 I think it was, I got a hundred of these stem things and little butterfly clips. And I just repaired all my earrings, including these, which means that I can still wear them, which is absolutely brilliant. Now, if you've got a um, more of a square face, then you might want to introduce a bit of roundness in your earrings. So back to Tulali. So these are favorite earrings of mine. Um, wear these a lot. They're designed around uh, the idea of a peacock. So you've got the circular effect, adding softness if you've got a very square jaw. So putting these either side of a very square jaw would add a bit of softness. And you can see that they, they've got the sort of peacock feathers hanging down or a mixture of a sort of like jade green, purple and navy blue. So they're quite special these earrings. I absolutely love them. And the other ones that would be great if you've got a square jaw are again favourites of mine. The two lally iridescent ones that I've shown you a couple of times I think. Can you see how lovely they are? They're all sort of shiny and iridescent. Don't they go beautifully with this top? Just really work with this top. There we go. So again, great for a square, a squarish jaw, just to add softness um, if you would like to have something like that. Uh, to Nita, let's talk about Nita earrings. Some, some of you don't want big earrings, some of you don't want long earrings, you want something neater, but you don't have to go boring with neat. Um, how about something that's a really lovely bright colour, like these pebbles, again from Tulali. I know I keep going on about Tulali, but they're such lovely earrings, and they're, they're 30, 40 pounds. What I love about them too is that they're light to wear, really light to wear, and I don't like heavy earrings that I can you know, dragging your ears down, it's not good. So look at that, neat, but suddenly you've got this bright blue either side of your face. I just think they're terrific. And they, they do them in red, they do them in other colors. Um, let me show you these as well. I could only find, I know what, 
the other one of these is somewhere and I just could not find it just now and I just gave up in the end. So let me just show you this one. Um, imagine that either side, but again, you've got the brights, you've got the purple brights, and if you've got a round face, this would be these would be nice, or they're nice on me because I've got an oval, sh uh, oval shaped face. Um, so if you are wearing smaller, neater earrings, you don't have to have the truly ultra conservative pearls every time. You can find they, these are quite nice. I got these in the VA. The VA is a uh, so you can see they've got they're square and they're slightly raised and they've got little turquoise squares in the middle of them. Um, so sources of earrings, you know, Tulali, obviously Sahara, VA, these are places where I uh, buy quite a lot of my bits and pieces of um, earrings. I counted them. I've got this uh, this box which uh, my daughter gave me and it's divided and I've got my, they're all colour, uh, they're all in different colours. So I've got the blue, the red, the silver, the black, the uh, pearly ones, the perspex ones and so on and so forth. Um, so they're, you know, mostly easy to find and uh, they keep, it keeps them all nice and neat and tidy. So um, what was I saying? I was saying about source of, of, of earrings. So yes, the VA, have a look at their website. They have some really interesting earrings on there. Um, you know that I've mentioned and will say again, Sahara and Tulali, they're my current favourites. But uh, you just have to have your eyes open and look wherever you go. And sometimes I will find something quite interesting, uh, quite randomly, um, having started to say that. So I was I was looking at um, a market stall in Stratford-upon-Avon uh, a few months ago, and I found these. Ten pounds they were. Aren't they gorgeous? And... You know, they're, they're unusual, they cost next to nothing, and I think they're terrific fun. So you just have to have your eyes open. I don't pay a lot for my earrings, I never have. Um, I would think that the top amount that I've ever paid for a pair of earrings is probably about, I don't know, 70 or 80 pounds possibly, but they would probably be silver um, and, uh, and made, you know, they'd be designer. But most of my earrings, absolutely between the sort of 10, 30, 40 pound mark, which I don't think is too bad. Um, I do hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'm just going to, yesterday I said that I was reading out a poem by Pam Ayres, and actually it wasn't by Pam Ayres. Uh, we found out it was by somebody called Jan Beaumont, so apologies to Pam Ayres, but it was still a really good poem. I think you could say that um, your teeth are another accessory, and um, so... <laughs> I just have to laugh. Somebody mentioned on Facebook the other day, um, not not on Super Troopers, this was some, some weeks ago, and she put, I will not take beauty advice or style advice from a woman with such bad teeth. <clears throat> so um, naturally, me, 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 me being me, I found it quite amusing. Um, the thing is, I've had these teeth since uh, for about 65 years, and they are all mine. You know, I haven't got plastic teeth, and um, I... I, I <sighs> I hate dentists. There's no way I'm going to go and get my teeth fixed. Sorry, folks. Uh, you're going to have to put up with them, and I don't mind them anyway. Uh, so Pam Ayres wrote this brilliant poem, which is called I Wish I'd Looked After My Teeth. <laughs> and I'm going to finish with this because, as I said, I think teeth are kind of accessories. So here we go. Oh, I wish I'd looked after me teeth and spotted the perils beneath and the top, all the toffees I chewed and the sweet sticky food. Oh, I wish I'd looked after me teeth. I wish I'd been that much more willing when I had more tooth than uh, there than filling to pass up gobstoppers from respect to me choppers and to buy something else with me shilling. When I think of the lollies I licked and the licorice all sorts I picked, sherbet dabs big and little, all that hard peanut brittle, my conscience gets horribly pricked. My mother, she told me no end, if you've got a tooth, you've got a friend. I was young then and careless. My toothbrush was hairless. I never had much time to spend. Oh, I showed them the toothpaste all right. I flashed it about late at night, but up and down brushing and poking and fussing didn't seem worth the time. I could bite. If I'd known I was paving the way to cavities, caps and decay, the murder of fillings, injections and drillings, I'd have thrown all my sherbet away. So I lay in the old dentist's chair and I gaze up his nose in despair and his drill, it do whine in these molars of mine. To amalgam, he'll say, for in here. How I laughed at my mother's false teeth as they foamed in the waters beneath. But now comes the reckoning, it's me that they are beckoning. Oh, I wish I'd looked after me teeth. Well, 
I've looked after my teeth quite well. And as I said, I'm quite proud of them. So I do hope you enjoyed that, all about accessories, and it's given you some ideas and some inspiration. Thank you very much for watching. And um, tomorrow I'm going to do a masterclass about brows and how to look better when you're on screen all the time. Bye-bye.